It's Mo Tuesday. I'm opening up Leech and Mosquito coming up after this. Alright, I'm opening these two. I could open up more Horde. There's nothing more Halloween time than the Evil Horde. I think that they were based on Universal Monsters. If you like look at them, you can see like man, Mantena is a fly and all mosquitoes are mosquitoes. He wasn't one of the original. We had, uh, I have Mantena. I have that wave to open. That's coming soon. I got this exclusive Grizzlor who was um, an exclusive because of his fur. And I have uh, um, Leech I'm opening, but I guess I'm going to save Hordak. I've already opened up a Hordak. We're going to save this Deluxe Hordak. I guess I'll open up with some of my other Deluxe He-Man and Skeletors one day. I'll open those. So yeah, I, I could show you the other ones that I have here. I have uh, Skeletor, Battle Armor, and I have um, um, Snout Spout. He's a Deluxe one. And then I have He-Man Battle Armor in, oh, in two different shades. Oh, I, show, I showed these before in my uh, last what I have left to open. But we really have to open up these today. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to show you that I got a new one of these from last time. You might have seen that disastrous video. And uh, it doesn't. This clip doesn't hold Skeletor. He can follow. Even when it's closed, the clip doesn't hold him in. The mouth spring action, it's so hard to get it into the mode. If you open up the mouth too, too wide, it doesn't... The tongue doesn't trigger it. Like, if you press the back of his jaw together, it... it this thing doesn't work. However, it's awesome. And however, also... Another problem, it's too big. I have no place to put this. It takes up a lot of space. Anyway, I have my favorite Skeletor, my favorite He-Man playing on this. And, I mean, it looks good. And, I mean, like I was going to play with it anyway, right? So let's get that out of the way. And let's just open up these. These are deluxe figures. So, Mosquito, you get another head, which is crazy. And I think it's like, it must be a comic book head. I did know a storybook head, some kind of place where that weird head showed up. Uh, not something we really needed, uh, but I guess they wanted to, they had to put him in a deluxe pack. So they it was nice of them to include like an energy burst and a uh, extra hand and whatnot. But he's cool. I had him as a kid. I I don't have my original standing by mosquito. Um, leech, sorry. Uh, also, awesome. A double head doesn't. Oh, well, it does make sense. That does look funny, and you know, it's a gimmick thing. So it's nice to have a head that's not a gimmick. Let's uh, open up this package, and this is gonna take me a while because I have to do it carefully because I want to save my card back. So I'm not going to talk the whole time. Or maybe I am going to talk the whole time. Why shouldn't I? Because we have all of these um, crazy new announcements where there is, first of all, there's an Eternia. I don't, I can't afford that. In Canada, the price just changed on the website. It now says $1,070. I want it so badly. I, I have no place to put it, and uh, I guess that is my that is my viewpoint on it. Is that if you can afford a place, if you have room to display that, then you probably can afford it. And uh, I can't afford it, nor do I have room to put it. I would love to get it just in box, so I could. Uh, Anyway, what else do we have? We have Moss Man coming. We have Snake Mountain is coming. Fall next year, I believe. Um, or maybe it's Fall 24. 
uh, maybe it's in two years. So that is exciting. That is a place that, that I will get. Hopefully it'll be at retail. Anything else that I remember getting? Um, frog, uh, some frog guy from the, the uh, from Castle Grayskull Dungeon. He's coming. Frog Mongor. Mongor. Monger. That's cool. I'm down with that. Any monster we get, I'm crazy about. So I'll get everything, except I won't get Eternia, even though I want it. Uh, maybe one day I'll have an extra two thousand dollars. I'll probably need to get it, and uh, maybe one day I'll have the space and an extra two thousand dollars to throw away. I really don't see two thousand dollars as very much money, to tell you the truth. If I had it, I would buy it. But I got a lot of I've got a lot of pandemic catch up to take care of before I do anything. I should make it clear that that's the price. One thousand seventy dollars is the price you see in Canada. In the states, it's five fifty is what the castle costs, or the giant mega place that costs. The conversion from 550 in the States apparently is $1,070. What? Uh, the Canadian dollar is bad. It's not that bad. When I started collecting Origins, the Canadian dollar was higher than the American dollar, or better. I don't know to say that. Oh, there's two different mini-comics in here because it's from two different waves. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, when I was buying Classics figures at the beginning of the run, the Canadian dollar was so strong that my prices were cheaper than the Americans, and now I'm paying double the price to get American stuff. And that really sucks. Uh, the uh, two thousand dollars. I am willing to pay two thousand dollars for that. It is worth it for me. That's why I say that. And I guess you know what? At at that price, it might end up being more than two thousand dollars for me. But. If I had, if I had the money in the bank, I'm, I'm telling you, I would, I would buy that for that much money. It's worth that much to me. It's that important. But also, I can, I can do without it for that price too. I mean, I have to do without it. Okay, this was really hard to get out of the package. This one is in French. This is funny. I just ordered this. They had some code on Walmart, and it was just some uh, multiple choice where you didn't know what you were going to get. It showed you four different figures, and I took a risk. I ordered two and it was Mosquito, and it's on the international card. Never saw him in store ever. And then Leech, I got from Big Bad Toy Store, which might be the only place I buy, so it's on an American card, and it might be the only place I buy just to save myself the time. It's probably not, it's not that much more money and it'll save all of my time running around to different stores to get these figures that you never know you're gonna find. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a horrible, horrible collection of toys to collect, but they are awesome and I love them and they are just as 
good, if not better, than the original toys. We have two suction cups on his hands, two suction cups on his feet, and they have little tabs on here to pull it off. This is such an old figure now, but I guess they both are. Many people have reviewed them. I don't even have anything to suction cup. I guess I have lots of stuff to suction cup these things too. Does it work well? Yeah. Yeah. You can hear the suction, good suction cup, and I like it. I like the knees. I like how he's got these tiny little thin limbs, but and his torso is really, really big. The head ah, comes off for sure. And then we have the alternative head, which I always thought he looked so silly with the gimmick. I never liked a gimmick. He used to have a little push button back here to suck him in, which was fun. It made a great noise and everything. But I guess we did have like fidget toys as a kid. All of these little things we like to hear. Um, so good. Yeah, I love this. Of course, you can't really see him head on. It's just a gaping mouth hole. But if you turn him to the side, he is an evil horde member, leech. He is a blood sucker. I guess he would be a vampire if he's blood sucking. Well, maybe Hordax the vampire actually. He's just he's just a gr gruesome grizzly beast. Okay, and then we have uh, Mosquito, of course, and he has a button exactly the same feature as on the original toy. I saw some people had this in storage upside down and it leaked. So that does kind of concern me. Mine did not leak, fortunately. But check that out. I guess that is something to be careful of. Maybe I should keep him in a different box. But when you press the button on his back, you can see the blood pumping through his veins. He comes with an extra hand. Oh wait, so does Leech. We'll have to go back to that. And I don't know where that hand went. Did I drop it? There's an, I swear there's an extra hand. Unless I left it on the card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Barry. Suck. Crossbow. Oh, it's right here. He's got a crossbow leech. Does back the leech. Let's uh, put that on. And it looks like the original one, except I don't remember it being red. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, red. They changed the colors a little bit on these. That is a really thin arm grip, too. But I assume it's going to squeeze on. Oh, yeah, it fits nicely. He looks great with it. I like that the red brings out the red. They should all actually have red weapons to match. Let's take off the hand. Interchangeable parts on all of these. Oh, do we have to waste? Oh, interesting. Because his torso is so big and he's missing the pump action this time. Yet they gave him a new body, which is interesting. And then I don't know how you know which hand goes to which side. Which is his thumb. I'm gonna do it like this. These pegs are thin though. That scares me because it is so tight and it does feel like a more brittle plastic. But like I said, I'm not a big action feature fan, so I'm liking these hands better. Yep, for sure. Crossbow on. That feature doesn't work very well. It doesn't work as well as the original can't. It's really hard to make it work. But like I said, I don't really play with these things. I don't need that to spring. But it does. Just doesn't work as good as the original. Cool. Red eyes. Awesome. Love his knees. He really looks like a amphibian and a dog at the same time a frog dog cool 
back to Mosquito fist gun holding hand he has a another gun holding hand which doesn't really make sense but maybe you want that option so he can hold the gun in both hands and then oh, he's got this oh and it's so much more rubbery so that way it can fit around most characters and what you're supposed to do is make it look like a blast feature so he's like draining the force energy out of his foe person he's attacking so good really cool let's put a purple gun in his hand this one looks more streamlined than the original one we had but i think i do recognize the design. Actually, I'm going to have to look at that later and compare. I probably should dig out these before I do these reviews so I can show you the differences, but it's a pretty nice gun. I like it. I like the blood. I like his design. I like how he's uh, dark and then the maroon is dark. Just dark, spooky, creepy monsters and space boots. Like, where does that come from? But that is what I love about Masters of the Universe. Okay, let's put on his alternative head. And it looks like that. And I am surprised at how much I like that, actually. I, uh, done a must be mini comic, storybook. I can't remember where it came from, but it's cool. It looks great. It does look great. I'm actually super surprised. However, this one still does look better. It adds that space element and then it's got the black tie-in. And it is the one featured in the comic book. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show you these comic books and this propaganda that I love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. this out I gotta I gotta really measure these and then look for frames I might frame them I guess I don't really want to frame them I don't have a place to put them so I'll put them in a binder I love looking at these line drawings though I think that they're amazing it just shows you that all the pieces come apart and you get they're interchangeable and you can mix and match your crazy monsters yourself now, this is Night of the Leech comic book, and because it's the American version, we have all of the text put in there, and I like that because you can tell what's going on in the story. Love this art, too. Very, 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 very cool. There they are, the ones on the back. I, this is the wave that I've got to open next. I have them, the uh, 20X He-Man and Mantena and Pigman, Pig Boy. It's Pigman from Sun Man. So good. And then this is from this wave. Okay, so maybe I should have opened these together. We'll open up that Hordak one day. And then you can see inside a Canadian comic book or a international comic book so that there are no speech bubbles and you don't know what's going on but you get to see more artwork and that is also pretty cool and the artwork is fantastic love it love it love these homages to the original mini con comics as well so good